It's time for another Treats and Keeps Troop Check-In. Once you, as a Troop Treats and Keeps Manager, submit your Troop order, you can begin to prepare for product and rewards distribution from your Service Unit Treats and Keeps Manager. Expect to receive a call and or email from your Service Unit Treats and Keeps Manager in early November, which is when product and rewards begin shipping to them. During this communication, your Service Unit Treats and Keeps Manager will confirm the distribution method and any special guidelines for pickup, along with date, time, and location. Once you get to your pickup, be sure to review your troop delivery ticket, verifying that all of your products and rewards have been received. If there are any shortages, please make note of this on your troop delivery ticket so that your service unit treats and keeps manager can report those shortages to GSG ATL so that the missing product or rewards can be replaced. Once you've picked up your troops' product and rewards from your service unit treats and keeps manager, it's time to distribute those items to the girls and parents in your troop. Some things to consider to make the distribution run smoothly are choosing your distribution method. Consider scheduling girls and parents for specific times. You can either do your pickup through a drive through style pickup or you can do front porch pickup. It's also helpful to sort and pack the product and rewards by girl in advance of pickup. And you can do that using your Girl Scout delivery ticket, which you can find in M2. You can also find step-by-step -step directions on page 11 of your troop guide on how to print those tickets. And remember, always request a signed copy or an e-signature from the parent or caregiver when delivering product or rewards. This ensures that you transfer financial responsibility to the parent. As a Troop Treats and Keeps Manager, part of your role includes being responsible for the funds being collected from girls and parents. Let's go over a few things that you'll need to keep in mind to ensure your troop is able to account for every dollar. Share your money collection dates with parents upfront. Setting dates early and making the method in which your troop is accepting payments clear will eliminate confusion. Protect yourself and implement two-way receiving. This ensures that each party agrees and is held accountable for what was received and it provides proof of any remaining balances. Make deposits regularly into the troops account and never hold on to money that you cannot replace. Involve girls in the financial decision-making process. The more they know, the better. Knowing how much the troop has available will help them set goals for future adventures, community service projects, trips, and experiences. If parents don't comply with their troop's payment schedule, don't hesitate to send them reminders and inquire about a catch-up payment. If necessary, at the end of the program, complete the unpaid parent account form found on the Council's website. The Girl Scout Treats and Keeps program is a fun and engaging financial literacy program. Remember, be the example for good money management. Set clear expectations for money collection, do's and don'ts with families. And lastly, allow the girls to take the lead on making decisions on how they use the troop proceeds. Their input here will set the stage for how they view, spend, and save money in other aspects of their lives. Money collection and payments. If you haven't done so already, enter your banking information into M2. This will allow GSG ATL to withdraw the balance due in early December. Please be sure to check your troop guide for the exact date of withdrawal. Also, be sure to make deposits into the troop bank account at least 48 hours before the balance is due to GSG ATL. This will ensure that the funds are available. So how do you know how much a parent owes? You can use the reports feature and select the girl's record viewing the net order card sales totals. Some possible ways to collect payments from parents, you can use Cheddar Up, Venmo, PayPal, as well as accepting cash, money orders, and checks.
As you continue to wrap up the Treats and Keeps program for your troop, please be sure to visit our resources page at girlscoutsatl.org for our catalog of resources that include everything from your troop guide, how-to videos, important dates, and downloadable activities. Thank you again for joining us for our troop check-in and for supporting our Girl Scouts. For any assistance needed throughout the program, please be sure to connect with your service unit Treats and Keeps Manager. You can also contact our member care team directly via email at helpline at gsgatl.org or via phone at 770-702-9100. Our M2 customer service team is also available to assist with M2 technical issues, shift order inquiries, and for parents to notify us if they are unable to deliver a girl delivery order prior to the girl parent deadline.